Are you ready to do this? Ha! Huh. Yeah, right. Hold on. We need to up the volume some. I'm sharing a mic with Noah, so I want to make sure we can both be heard. Yes, because we still don't have a mixer that can have three microphones. Nope. We. I think we're going to have to get one, though. And possibly better microphones. I don't know. Can you speak closer to the mic? Closer to the mic. That is much better. Thank you very much. I'm so close to the mic. Are you going to lick it? No. Okay, good. Then I'll get you're Spud not to do it. Spud. <laughs> He's over here. <laughs> <laughs> Spud, come lick the mic. That was, stop it. <laughs> that was Jeremy's finger, not Spud licking the mic. <laughs> Still funny. So I guess, um, you know, that was like a testing thing because we haven't done this in a while, have we? Yeah, no. We're a little rusty. Uh, I think the last time we actually recorded was when we first got the COVIDs. Yeah, that was like back in August, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought, I thought we recorded when we had COVID. That While was we had it. COVID, yeah. That was it. When you speak. Get as close to the mic as you possibly can. Okay. <sighs> Not that bad. <laughs> um, okay. So I think we have sufficiently tested the fact that we can still function the mics. Maybe. We'll see. Yep. It still functions. It registers our voices. So how do we start this thing? I totally forgot. Welcome back to. No, yeah, maybe. Okay. You, um, it was Ma, it was D. Right, I did welcome, welcome to. Back to. And then all of us said we'll figure it out. Okay, you ready? No. Okay, go. Welcome to. We'll, we'll figure, figure it, it out. out. Hey, we did it. Yay! Today on We'll Figure It Out, we are going to tell you what the super secret category was and what all the nonsense was on the last episode. What is this super secret thing you talk about? I never knew anything about it. You must have been keeping this a secret. No, we were keeping it a secret (laughs) from everybody else. (laughs) You knew all about it. Okay, fine. Yes, I did. And we're going to tell you the story of how what should have been completed in June was not completed until what day? September 20th. September 20th. See, he's better at dates than I am. I'm just like, it was a day and a month. (laughs) So much. So much happened. (laughs) Yes. So um, we will will tell you all. We will tell you what Ashley was. Um, What was the other ones? Pickle Pickle Fork. Lois Lane. And which, Superman. And Superman. <laughs> <laughs> and then how we scrapped all of those plans and did none of them. <laughs> in, in typical D and Jeremy fashion. <laughs> <laughs> we have a plan. Then we throw it out and create a new one. <laughs> Five year plan? No, three days. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. That's the way it goes. Okay. So. The big reveal. Super secret. Oh, Oh, let's do that Wrong one. (laughs) I keep doing it. (laughs) It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Okay. (laughs) The super secret category was a a house. house. Oh, yeah. It was a house. And Spudley doesn't like it. What do you want to... What? 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 Why are you getting off Spudley? He wants to oh, say goodness. something. Oh, goodness. Spud. He oh, wants gracious. to say something. Now he really <laughs> is. He wants to lick the mic. Oh, it's probably all the banging on the table for you. Oh, yeah. You're good. It's okay. We have a pup right, that out. loves to get excited <laughs> whenever we get excited. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> all right. You want to go try and maybe put him out? On the because we're not gonna be able to record like this. Stop! You're fine. <sighs> okay, now that we got all that out of the way, maybe 
Well, that's all the excitement I can handle for today. <laughs> that's right. We're done. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. Now that we've revealed it, <laughs> everybody knows y'all can carry on about your days. Yep. So we, I guess, and we kind of shared the whole plan of, you know, this is kind of a transition from having a lot of kids to having less kids in the future because mm-hmm. they're all growing up and needing to get out of the city and eventually have Jeremy change career fields and or semi-retire. Something like that. <laughs> so, eventually. 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 So this is kind of our, you know, three to ten year plan. <laughs> <laughs> Six okay. days. <laughs> it might wind up being six days <laughs> like i'm done with this let's just let's just move out there no we can't all fit in here yet so we can't no 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 nope. we don't have enough bedrooms we don't have enough bedrooms for everybody okay. no we can't all fit in this house we don't have enough bedrooms and we still have too much stuff to sift through yep we gotta get rid of stuff which you know some of that stuff i might just Throw in the car, bring up here, and throw in the burn pile. Anyway. Oh, my gracious. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> if, I, if I realize something that I like is gone, then I'll know what happens. I won't it, touch right? your stuff. Okay. Good. Just do your stuff. That's right. Don't be messing with my like, stuff. I'm not like that. I know you're not. I know Where you're are not. you? What, what, what kind of jerk husband do you mistake me for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is new territory. Not sure how it's gonna go. Oh, anyhow, let's let's get back okay. on back on back, 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 back. I can't talk. Back on task. Back to the podcast. Back to the podcast. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, our, our big super secret, which you know I did know about. I was just kidding. She wasn't hiding it from me. I think we all knew that, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I have to be Captain Obvious. All right. So yeah, let me just. This... Oh, I forgot my coffee. All right. You talk. I'll be right back. Okay. So our super secret. Yes. We, we, we bought a second home out in the boonies, basically. Kind of getting a little bit worn of the city life. And looking forward to the future of where we can all just kind of come out and chill and relax Yay! and so much in the boonies that yes we actually do have a burn pile yes we do and <laughs> we've burned two fires in it and we've also tried to burn the stump that was full of uh We're, there's no trying we are burning the stump it's just it's gonna uh, take more than one burn to do it <laughs> it may take one million years but we'll do it so for those who may not have heard Dee just now, she said it might take one million years. She's like 15 feet away from the microphone, so it may or may not have picked it up clear enough for anybody to hear. <laughs> My voice is loud enough. I'm sure they heard something. Maybe. I couldn't hear a thing. <gasps> That's awesome. Spill your coffee on your phone and your mouse. Uh, and we need to get some paper towels down. Technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Whole week is just not going the way I wanted it to. Just, just bumps in the road. We have experienced some very bumpy roads. Literally. On uh, on the way to getting this house has been a very bumpy ride. We may need a whole episode for that. The, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast <laughs> about Super Secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we tell the story of all the delays first? Okay, we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we made the offer on the house in April. Mm-hmm. Uh, and originally our offer was declined because there was another offer on the table. And then two days later... We get a call saying, hey, they, they, uh, the people the that made the offer fell through. Yeah, they backed out. They backed out, and so our offer was next up. So we made... Which basically boiled down to they offered way more than they could afford and realized it after the fact when their offer was 
accepted. Yeah. So then our offer was accepted. Went through all the rigmarole, getting the inspections and all that stuff done. And had our closing was scheduled for June 3rd. Now, Wait, let's... hold on. This is also after we have looked at several different other houses. We even put an offer in on another house, accepted the offer, but the deal fell through because of mold. So it was like every time we would look at a house and Something be like, went wrong. We, we were like, okay, let's make an offer. It was either already off the market or um, obviously something else went wrong. So Yeah. You know, we had another house farther out that we kind of considered with larger property and everything, but yeah, there was no way we were going to pay for that house. It was one hundred and twenty, no, one hundred thirty-five thousand, I think, for that one. Yeah, and it was probably worth an offer of one hundred and ten, and we just did, we felt like they wouldn't have ever ever accepted it. Yeah. Plus, it was further out <clears throat> in the even more middle of nowhere. Uh huh. So. There's that. But I, I think the, the funniest thing about that house was uh, apparently we were the first people to look at it in a very long time. And the, right. the, the, the seller's agent kept contacting our agent asking about if we were going to do anything with it. Did, did we like the house? Did we want, oh, that's right. Did we want to pursue it? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> we, we actually did like the location. But it just, it wouldn't have been worth it. We would have had to sink too much money into it to even make it to where we could spend a night there. Right. Mold wouldn't be an issue if there weren't two or th- two people with asthma. Right. Well, this was the other house that we looked at with the larger land mm-hmm. up north. North north or up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wasn't with us that day. Right. Okay. That's right. It was just us when we were on the road for half a day. Shoo, a long, a long And that time. was the day that we, we almost drowned our real estate yes. agent. Yes. Because <laughs> it was after a really big storm, like not a hurricane, but just, you know, a regular torrential downpour in Louisiana. Mm. And the road where we wanted to go look at a house was flooded. And so she was like waiting out into the road to see if we could pass. And we're like, okay, I think it's too deep. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then we wound up, once the water receded, we wound up to go look at that house. And that house was tiny, tiny. And the property was... The usable property. I think it was still in over an acre of no, land. It was like 0. 0.7 acres. Oh, okay. It was like 0. 0.7 acres. But, but the, 0. the 0. 0.25 usable, of it was usable. The usable lot, our, our house at home... Yeah, has a bigger lot than that was usable. It has right? more usable lot. And ours is like a point one four or something like that oh, acre right. lot. Right, yeah. <laughs> it was basically, you know, a patch around the house. And that's if the river wasn't, you know, overflowing, the river would have been at our back porch if, it, you know, like, so that house was not viable. So anyway, back to this house and, and the rigmarole that went along with that. Yeah, that was this buying this house was a complete muddle fuddle <laughs> yes. muddle fuddle months no muddle, muddle fuddle fear. like months. four months almost yes. so yeah we were supposed to go to closing on june 3rd and our title company that we were working with like two days prior said uh we got issues here like okay well prior to that they they did identify the the what was that called the mortgage thing the deed oh yeah the uh, the there was a bond for deed on yeah. it and everything all that was starting to get cleared up right so there was a bond for deed something wasn't there was a succession a succession that, that wasn't, wasn't recorded, recorded correctly. correctly yeah and all this which you know minor details there that yeah and then the mortgage company that we were dealing with of course was out in the city the title company. title company was out in the city, so they really weren't familiar too much with some of the more rural stuff, and they threw their hands up. Yeah, after 30 days of saying, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Yeah, and so we had to move to a different title company, which worked with us, and then there were still a couple of issues that popped up with it. 
Uh, one being that, you know, we needed to actually have access to the property and the right of way passes through the property ahead of us. And the right of way was not recorded. So we had to go through all of that. And then when we were waiting for that, we wound up getting COVID. <laughs> and then we were going to close the the Friday before Ida. Yep. And the right of way was not signed yet. And so we um, had, well, anyway, they they got it signed on that day, but there was no way we could close that weekend because everybody was evacuating. Mm -hmm. And then after Ida hit, of course, everything was shut down because, well, nobody had power. <laughs> there was lots of trees on people's houses. People were dealing with blue tarps and... So we had to extend again. Mm -hmm. So finally, oh no, then we had a family medical emergency. Yep, which we had to extend. <laughs> Another week. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, it was, we were supposed to close on a Friday. Yeah, we were supposed we to go close Monday. on Friday the 17th. The medical emergency happened on the 16th. Mm -hmm. And so we once again had to <laughs> ask for an extension. I felt so bad. I was like, well, I'm in the hospital with a family emergency, so I really can't make it to the closing. <laughs> so we pushed it to the 20th, mm -hmm. and you know, we were still wrapped up with some of the family stuff going on with that, but it's like, we can't keep extending. We got to get this done off our plate and out of the way, because... It's just another factor of stress, so we're like, nope, right. we're closing. We're getting it done. Ending this. <laughs> and so right. we, fin we finally got it done on the 20th. So speaking of the family medical emergency, everybody is fine. Um, all of so that brings us back to what the heck we were talking about last episode. Because we had planned. Well, so we recorded that the week before we were supposed to close in June. Right? Yes. Like, and we had two been, weeks. And we had been drinking that night. Yeah. Yeah, we had. <laughs> <laughs> we actually recorded two episodes that night. And this time we're not recording in the middle of the night when they're drunk. Oh, yeah. It's the mm -hmm. beginning of the day and we haven't started drinking yet. <laughs> yeah. Except Day's for... still young. Yeah, D, D's <laughs> on, like, coffee number four, I think. Oh, probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. I probably need to go, like, run a mile to get some of this caffeine <laughs> out. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, we were talking in code. And so, we're going to go through our our plan of code and tell you what each one was. <laughs> uh, all right. So... No. I guess we'll start with Ashley. No. No? We need to start with... Pickle with, Fork. Nope. nope. We need, yep. We need to start with Superman. 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 Okay. that was supposed to be the first thing we did. Yeah. Well, it, it it's not because we now have different plans for Superman that may or may not happen that way or... I, I don't know. We, we still have pending plans for Superman. <laughs> okay. So, Superman. So, there's... Two back doors to this place. One is the sliding glass door out of the dining room, and the other one is off of the laundry room. A well, a regular exterior door. A regular exterior door. Well, if you decide while you're in the laundry room that you need to go outside, don't, because there's no stairs outside the laundry room door. So you, you'll have about a three and a half, four foot drop. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why it's called Superman, because if you went out the door, you would have to try and be Superman to not kill yourself. Yeah. That first step is a doozy. <laughs> that first step. Well, the only that step. Three to four <laughs> foot plummet to the ground is a doozy. <laughs> if you're not prepared for it. <laughs> yeah, definitely break an ankle or wrist. So, yes, that is why that one was called Superman. <laughs> yes. Okay, so then after that, we have Lois Lane, which was actually me saying lowest laying, which is referring to the floor. But my ears and drinking apparently don't mix. <laughs> so I heard Lois Lane. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, some of the house has some wood type floor in it. Laminate. Yeah, laminate. Actually, it looks like it's um, linoleum. Oh, linoleum. It's, it's, that's rolled linoleum. That's crazy. I know. It looks so good, though, for linoleum. I'm so impressed. Anyway. It looks like real wood. Except for the fact that there's, you know, like places where you can definitely tell it's linoleum. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what linoleum is. What is it? It's a big sheet of plastic, plastic material. Yeah, plastic flooring. flooring. So that's why it feels like plastic. It's 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 yeah. vinyl. Uh and carpet. We have carpet. Which, which is stained and apparently so caked with sheetrock dust that oh. I vacuumed twice and clogged the filter for the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. And it's not a big house. So for Lois Lane, our plan is to go through with a different style flooring. I think we had chosen a it was a waterproof vinyl, I think, that we were gonna do the Ow, I hit my hand. Don't smack the table when you're talking. I didn't mean to. Oh, and it hit me right on a cut, too. Anyway. Owie. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's our plan for lowest laying or lowest lane. Now, on top of lowest lane, we need to put Ashley. Which, wait, hold on. But the, the whole thing with the the lowest lane... Yes. Was that we were trying to determine whether we would put the waterproof in all areas or just in like the bathroom and the kitchen. And so um, we decided that for purposes of ease and continuity that we would probably just go with the waterproof throughout. Right. Which I guess before we get to Ashley, we do need to talk about Pickle Fork. Right. Because Pickle Fork was going to put a whole wrench in the system of the flooring. Yep. Because although they're decent, they're not ideal. No, it's the cabinets for the for the kitchen. They're very um, basic. Um, I drab. mean, probably below basic. Like the the stuff that you get out of the box store is lower quality than that, or. I don't know. It's just functionally. Functionally, it's stupid as well. Because why have a huge cabinet in a small door? Just I never understand that. It's the TARDIS effect. TARDIS effect gets bigger on the inside. <laughs> 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 Looks like a teeny tiny cabinet, but then you open it and whoa, look at all that. But you can't get anything in and out of it. Look because at all this room. <laughs> that you can't use because you can't access it. Let me just turn this plate sideways to get it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's they they don't look terrible. They're painted, but the other the other problem is I don't know what it is about everybody who paints a house before they sell it. Why do you choose flat paint? Anybody with kids knows that you cannot clean. A wall that has flat paint on it. And so you wind up cleaning half the paint off of it. with, and Or you just have stained walls. So I had actually wanted to maybe paint before we got anything in here. But that has since. That five year plan that turns into three days. Right. And then we do it opposite of the way that we should. <laughs> and make it more difficult on us in the in the long run. So... Yeah, we didn't even talk about painting in that episode, did we? I don't believe we did. No, well, we we didn't have a we didn't have a nickname for it. Nope. Be Sherwin. What <laughs> Sherwin. <been> Sherwin. <laughs> <laughs> Sherwin Williams is a paint store. <laughs> so yes, we um. So then that brings us to Ashley, which is the furniture because um, yep. you know Ashley's furniture, so. And so far, we only have one item that is actually Ashley Furniture. And that's the mattress that we bought yesterday. No, we have two. Actually, we have three. We have the stools for the bar counter. The stools are Ashley? Oh, oh. No, the the Ashley Furniture. I think... Like the brand. Oh, the brand. Oh, yeah. Is that table? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. No, because it's made in Mexico. No, it's Heco. Heco in Mexico. In Mexico. 
Heco Me- Heco in, in Mexico. Mexico. Anyway, so we only have one actual Ashley furniture thing. Yep. Because we decided to go, let's just go look at rooms to go. And then we have almost a whole entire house full of furniture that's coming. Oh, yeah. Several different trunks between trunks. Trucks between now and February. No, actually, July. The benches. Oh, that's right. The benches for the dining room table aren't coming till July. July? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So your bed is not the last thing that's coming mm-hmm. in February. So the last thing that's coming in February or the last thing that's coming? The last thing that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Every weekend from now, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're totally gonna forget about these benches and then one day it's gonna be like oh, what's this? I put it on the calendar. I sh- We can't forget about it. It's on the calendar. We will forget about it until we go, what is this on the calendar? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, One of us has to be up there. (laughs) Right. Let's see. So, yes, we we had a plan for Noah to pick out the sofa for Mm -hmm. the living room because because we are limited on space here, we only have three bedrooms and, you know, we have three kids that live with us full time. So... And one part timer. One part timer, and so um, he was going to pick out the the sofa so he could have something comfortable to lay on, um, you know, obviously within budget and reason. Then the boys wanted to pick out beds. Well, what what, what happened? What happened was Samuel has a job, and so he's been um, not coming up and spending the night as often. So we decided to have Noah have the bedroom and when Samuel does come then he Noah will switch to the sofa and Samuel will have the bedroom. So Noah had a hand in picking out not only a bed but a sofa as well. Yeah, he did. He got to he got to help pick it out. Noah had more say in furniture than I did. Oh my god. I guess the tiny human is in control. <laughs> mm. then... It was all part of my evil plan. <laughs> <laughs> we no longer have a committee. We just have the TH. Tiny human. Because <laughs> this morning we were sitting out on the porch having coffee and we were talking about what needed to be done. And Noah's like, we need to do this and we need to do that. I'm like, are we going to defer to the tiny human for our plans? <laughs> so you're going to be the decider of all plans now? <laughs> Apparently so. Noah has been promoted to planner. To decision, uh, head decision maker. <laughs> I don't think you want all the headaches that come along with that. No, you don't. Or do I? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Why did my ears start ringing? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So we are 30 minutes into this episode. We have revealed the super secret. We have revealed the super secret drama. Secret. Drama, drama, drama. And the, the super secret, what is that called? code words the code yes super we've, secret we've revealed our codes so now do we tell them what plan we actually implemented <laughs> none <laughs> <laughs> we got the place and There's one we did order lots of furniture yep so we got we got ashley going on yeah ashley is the only thing that of all of those things that we have decided on <laughs> or done anything with <laughs> yep so when we have to do the lowest laying <laughs> or Lois Lane, then it's going to be an even bigger task because we're going to have to move all of the Ashleys <laughs> and her friends. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, yeah. Whoa. So, let, let, <laughs> let's actually talk about Ashley for a little bit. Just a little bit about Ashley here. Okay, let's do okay. that. Okay, so we decided to go... And pick out some furniture for the bedrooms, for the kids' bedrooms and stuff. We already have uh, the master bedroom planned out because these parents are giving us a bedroom, bedroom set, set to go in there. So that's all good to go. So we, we picked out the living room and dining room furniture. And then after we've placed this order and 
all that is said and done, my ex-wife has some bedroom furniture that she's looking to get rid of, so we got that for the boys. Yay, score one for some free furniture. Free furniture. It's nice furniture. Yep. And then my mom is getting new furniture for her living room, so she offered up her sofa and comfy chair to us for here after we have already purchased purchased and awaiting the order. Yeah. So out of nowhere we have free furniture flying at us now after we've already <laughs> Oh, and we also got offered a sofa from Lex and and Zach too. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, um, we already bought one, so... Yeah, but, we're good on all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but Jonathan wants it for his room now, so we'll have to see. Oh, Lord. Is that why he was talking about driving out to go uh-huh. get... Yeah. Yeah, he wanted Samuel to bring him to go get the sofa. I'm like in... Oh, he wanted to go in the Traverse, and I'm like, number one, I'm not going to let y'all take my car all the way to Mississippi. Number two... Um, I don't think you can fit the sofa in there. And number three, do I trust y'all loading a piece of furniture into my vehicle and not destroying it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you need adult supervision there. Yes. <clears throat> so the gifting of all the furniture mm-hmm. brings up another point of Jeremy needs to get something done quickly again. <laughs> In order to transport the, th- the furniture, we don't own a truck. And the Traverse is only so big. It is not as big as my van used to be. But we do have a trailer that we disassembled last year because, oh, we're not using this thing. And it needed new decking. And we needed the half of the garage it was in. So now... We need a trailer. The trailer. <laughs> and not only does Jeremy want to put new decking on it, but he wants to completely redo the rails and have a um some kind of contraption to hold the ramps. The ramps. Which the ramps which are still at my ex wife's house. But your turntable isn't anymore. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we were talking about the turntable that was in the attic of his ex-wife's house? Well, I got it. Due to Ida damage, her attic needed to be cleaned out. And so we have all of... And and plus a box of memorabilia that... Two boxes. Two boxes of memorabilia that he forgot about. Yep. I think you finally have moved out of your ex-wife's house after how many years? (laughs) (laughs) Eighteen. <laughs> 2003. So yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, well, uh, everybody out there listening, we get along. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're fine. She, she's she's one of my best friends. So it's it's all good. <laughs> I'm just picking on him. <laughs> I I know we're laughing. I, you don't like it. You want to? <laughs> you can't. Bart. What? <laughs> it's like he's, it's, he's like crawling out of his skin. Okay, puppy. No. Stop. You've attracted cashmere. You're fine. No. Man. Sit. Sit. Interruption number 33. What? <laughs> I don't know what it is about that dog, but when we start laughing, he gets crazy. Like, you can't laugh. Don't laugh. No fun. He gets way, way, way hyper and excited. Yeah. And then starts barking at us. Where were we? I'm not even sure. We Nothing. were we were talking about the trailer. Oh, right. And that mm. the ramps and we were we had digressed uh. to <laughs> you taking eighteen years to move out of your no. ex wife's house. Okay, that's where we were. <laughs> <sighs> Anyhow, so now I'm debating whether or not I want to worry about making a holding fixture for the ramps or just go ahead and build the tailgate and have the tailgate be able to be utilized as a ramp. Yeah, that might be better if you can make that happen. If. Yeah. If. 
So now that we've recorded this episode, we have revealed Super Secret to you and what all of the Super Secret code words were. You receive nothing. <laughs> you don't get the whatever prize from the Secret Dakota Ring. Yes, this is not the little orphan Annie Dakota Ring. Sorry. Wah, wah, wah. Drink more Ovaltine. <laughs> That was definitely better. You're going to be my special effects guy. Okay. <laughs> and now on to figuring out how many Red Rider BB <laughs> guns, guns we, we need. need for our new property. <laughs> no, leave it. So, yeah, we're slowly getting things together here. We are, we have a mile long list of to do's. Today, we're going to be trying to get this dog to stop barking. <laughs> Guess bring him outside again. He can bark outside. So we have some towel holder rings that we need to pick up, put up, place on the wall for yep. hanging towels. Um, what else we got on the, the list today? We got to do some weed eating and grass cutting. Uh -huh. um, we also, I have to work some. So there's that. Yeah, we need to do a look at medicine cabinet for the hall bath. Mm hmm. What else? Ceiling fans. Were we going to do that? Or was that on hold? Uh, I'd like to somehow get that process rolling. At least go and look and make decisions on what we're going to get. Or not. Maybe. Yeah. Or look online. I'm looking at medicine cabinets right now. Oh my gosh, Without are you, you seriously Without doing that behind you. my back? Like, trying to keep it <laughs> no. a secret? You see me across the table. I can't possibly be behind your back. Ha, ha, ha. You're, what, merely six feet away from me. Good thing you know how long this table is, because I, I made think that it's six feet. Guesstimate. Actually, I think this one might be longer. <laughs> tape Whatever. measure. Where's our tape No, measure? we don't need to go there. Anyway, all right, guys, we really appreciate you listening. We're <laughs> sorry that this took so long to get out. I was supposed to do it last week, but last week was kind of a bad week for me. Um, if anybody out there struggles <clears throat> with depression and anxiety, you know that some weeks are just bad and there was no reason for it. It was just a bad week and I struggled and I couldn't get anything done but the bare minimum. So, and we'll that, be right back after this ad. <laughs> no, I think we're done. So no I But I'm not done. I've got so much more I can say. I mean, I've been bottling this up since, you know, I'm kidding. I'm done. <laughs> the look on her face is telling like, me Really? I'm done. <laughs> really you have so much to say. Please tell me you, that this is a new phase in your life where you, you actually say things. Yeah, you know me. I'm always talkative. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did what? You say watching this podcast or listening to this podcast? I don't remember, but I'll figure it out when I listen. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this podcast. All right, I'm done. I am too. Noah? I'm not done. <laughs> what, what do you want to say? <laughs> And on that note, we thank you for listening to this episode, and we hope that you will join us for our ne next episode when we try to figure, figure it out. out. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. And? And what? No, that's not on this podcast. We don't say that. that. Don't that's for the channel. Yeah, go find us on all the social medias and YouTube. We're there. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, we're really done. Bye. <laughs>